Now at six, Connecticut's old state house welcomed a new kid governor today. The fifth grader from West Hartford took the big oath, the oath of office. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris has more on her mission. Myra Stanfield has big plans for the year ahead. How are you feeling today? Very excited. The fifth grader from Eric G. Norfelt Elementary School in West Hartford was sworn in as Connecticut's new kid governor at the old state house. And that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Connecticut's kid governor to the best of your abilities, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Connecticut's Kid Governor is a statewide civics program for fifth graders that was created back in 2015, making Myra our fifth Kid Governor. Myra was elected on her platform of preventing animal abuse. I ran for Kid Governor because of my love of animals. Among those in the crowd were Myra's family, friends, classmates, and elected officials, such as Governor Ned Lamont. I am so proud of you. Isn't this fun? And Lieutenant Governor Susan Beiswitz. They tell us it was an honor to be there and support rising leaders here in our state. It is so great to see another smart, talented, committed, visionary young lady elected as kid governor. Myra's cabinet consists of the six final candidates for kid governor. They'll meet regularly to discuss Myra's campaign platform in their own communities, as well as collaborate with one another. Her predecessor, Ella Briggs, had this advice for Myra. I would say that you should really keep smiling and be yourself and enjoy every single second of it because it goes by fast. And Myra says she can't wait to get started making a big impact here in Connecticut. In Hartford, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Eva, 